Hi, this is John Twist of University Motors. It's been a couple of years since I made a video. My hair's shorter, my beard's gone. I don't know if I'm any fatter, but I'm in Texas right now at Rich Caldwell's house. Say hi, Rich. Howdy. Hi, Rich. <laughs> and anyway, we're out driving this TD today and it got really hot and we got back and I'm listening to it because it wasn't boiling. It was it had 80 pounds of oil pressure on the temp gauge. So it was way over 100 Celsius. And uh, I thought, why isn't it boiling? And I'm down here listening to it, and I can hear it hissing. TDs don't hiss, they're not under pressure. I thought, something's odd here. Well, we waited, we cooled it off, we hosed down the radiator and got it all nice and cool. And then I said to Rich, let's check the overflow. And so we got this filament from a weed eater, and we put it down inside here, and down and down and down it went, and then it came to a stop, and it wouldn't go any farther. And it's like, why won't it go any farther? So I said to Rich, gosh, I wish we had an old Speedo cable. Well, guess what Rich has done? Like every other good MG owner, not throwing away anything. So here's this nasty old Speedo cable that he cut the end off, and we used it like a roto router. We put it down inside here and fed it down inside and, and got it going. Sometimes there's a couple little bends in the, mm-hmm, sure. Well, it worked, it worked a couple of minutes ago. This isn't going to be like the... Oh, we're, we're having a hard time here because the end of it is... A little more frayed than it Yeah. Was. Why don't we turn in the opposite direction and see if that'll do it. So I'm, there we go. Okay. So we get the thing down to a point, and it stopped too. And we fiddled and fiddled, and I thought, what's this thing, caught on something? What's going on? And we drug it back out, and it was just caked with mud and junk on the end of it. So then we tried it again, and guess what? It went all the way through, and you can see it when it comes out the bottom. Kathy will get a sh shot of it right here. You can see, you can see it right here. Whoops. Rich is spinning the... But in any case, it, it came out the bottom. So here's our speedo cable, and we successfully roto rooted out the drain. I've never seen I've never seen a TD radiator plug up. Plus, Rich had this redone, re recleaned, re something or other about six years ago. He hasn't driven the car much since then. It's got 132 miles on it. But um, anyway, this is just to show you that on a TD. Um, not a TF, but on a TD, you can have this problem, TC, TD, and we only took that old Speedo cable, used a rotor router, took care of it. See you later.